Welcome to another episode of Q-Doma TV with yours truly, Q-Doma. And this time around, I'm going to talk about something that's really grinding my years. First of all, I'm going to talk about Hollywood. I know some of y'all out there probably still have faith in Hollywood. Mine is dwindling as always. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Currently, Hollywood wants to make a remake of Big Trouble in Little China. Now, my question to you, do you think this is a good idea or a bad idea? Me, personally, I think they need to leave this damn movie alone. Hey, I saw the movie back in the day. That movie was a great movie. We don't need a sequel messing it up. Don't get me wrong, there's always a possibility this could be a good movie, but looking at the cast, completely different people, I don't know if this is going to be any good at all. And not only that, I look at it like this, if they wanted to make a sequel, they should have made a sequel back when the actors were still in their prime. To try to make one now, I, I this feels kind of weird. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, I talked to a friend of mine on, online and, you know, and I asked him what his thoughts about it is. He said he's not sure about it. And a few other people feel the same. So, just to let y'all know, it's just not just me. It's other people as well. Personally, I think at some point in time, I think Hollywood will fall. This is just my personal opinion. I mean, Hollywood has been going for a nice long time, even way before my creation ever came into being. But that being said is, you know what I always like to say is, nothing lasts forever. And you know, with the young people we have out today that's creating videos and new ideas and all that type of thing, you know, I feel that the future is in their hands. And that is the way to go. And I feel with that being said, we can hope to see a lot of great things. Of course, there is the argument that a lot of people don't have the funding to make the great movies that we really want to see. I feel in the future that also will change at some point. I don't know when, but I feel it will. I'm, I have a certain confidence in that. But moving on, next subject matter, I want to jump on. I want to jump on the whole Iceman being gay thing. Now, you know, some people are completely caught out of, I mean, just literally just shocked about it. They're like, oh my god, Iceman is gay. What the hell, you know? I saw one video, they were quite vulgar, vulgar about it, or whatever the case may be. And, you know, I didn't particularly care for the video. It was kind of like, I don't know, it was kind of like really thugged out, but they really, really made Iceman look really bad in that video, and I didn't particularly like it. I'm not going to name the video, but I'm just, just going to say is it this really rubbed me the wrong way. Taking all consideration, you know, I grew up with Iceman, you know, I remember Iceman back in the day when it was like you know, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. And, you know, by no means at that time that I think Iceman was ever gay. You know, I, you know, no matter what he did. I mean, and not that it even is not even a big deal. You know, the movie industry or Hollywood or people that are making the next X-Men movie or whatever. You know, I know some of them, they're up in arms about it because how it kind of came out or whatever and you know looking at the information in the comic book how it just kind of popped out there with Jean Grey outing uh, Bobby Drake and it's not even the same one it's another one from another time period all together you know and that's funky and I was telling somebody about that I said okay you know this is different Iceman not the same Iceman um different Jean Grey, you know, she's reading people's minds and, you know, some people think Jean Grey is a dick for doing it, of course, you know, that being said, you know, looking at that particular Jean Grey, you know, she feels she has to read people's minds because I guess she's having trust issues or insecurities or whatever, whatever the case may be, and, uh, you know, 
I'm like, okay, I can see how some people could feel that way about her. Going back to the Bobby Drake issue, yeah, I feel that, you know, it's, you know, it's not such a big deal, but I think it's just how it was conveyed. I feel Marvel did it very poorly on, on, on their part on how they just had it. It's like, okay, we're going to have the character read his mind and boom, just like that. I was like, hmm, you know. But, you know, all this could change, you know, after Secret World of Wars is all said and done. For all we know, you know, stuff like this, you know, that's like, hey, it might change, switch up, or whatever. And, you know, Bobby Drake might just not be gay. Or, or whatever the case may be. Now, even though Marvel has said that the current Iceman, not the young version that's from the alternate world or whatever the case may be on there, it's gay too. I'm only taking that on face value. I made my, I made my uh, comments on a couple of pages about how I felt about it. That being said, and I'm just going to leave that as that. On, on, on that matter, but I feel that I don't feel all the Icemen throughout the on every reality plane are gay, you know. So I'm just gonna take that with a grain of salt or whatever, because you know that junk could change any second. You know, we've seen this happen in comic books where one minute, you know, characters are doing this and then the next minute they're doing something else so leave your questions and comments on that matter on my page and tell me what you think about that you know and I would love to hear them um on another subject matter um moving on I recently went to see I think uh what is the name of that movie I'm trying to think it's coming to me thinking 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 future land yes awesome movie totally awesome movie I feel that anyone that is anyone needs to go see this movie totally you know it is a movie that appeals to the masses to any nationality of persons literally even though personally from my standpoint there are very few movies of this a caliber that actually rank on such a high scale but it is a very very good movie literally I saw it in the theaters and I'm glad I went to see it it was it was it was the cut above the cut above literally so you know that being said you know you know run out and go see it and I don't think I have anything else right now. I did get some new comic books, you know, currently. I know we're on the, we're close to wrapping up this whole thing with the convergence thing. I don't know how it's going to completely play out, personally. I am looking forward to seeing the fight between Dark Side and the Anti-Monitor. Oh, rapture, I can't wait to see it. You know, because, you know, Darkseid, he's just so freaking powerful. And, you know, the Anti-Monitor, he's, like, really powerful, too. And, you know, you have like, these two titans that are literally crashing together and, you know, trying to tear each other apart. You know, you gotta love the beauty of it, you know. I love a good fight, you know. Love it, love it. But anyway, that being said, that's all I gotta say about that. This has been Q Doma, and I will be seeing you in the near future. Thank you.